Y'all, this right here had ripped, but y'all know if the shirt ain't ripped, keep wearing it. So let me tell y'all a little small story time. What happened to my guy? So your girl had fresh out work, crank up, boom, boom, rolling down the street, girl. So mind y'all, I work about an hour and some change from my house. And we get all the way past the hour and everything. I'm literally, guys, literally 10 minutes from my house. And guess what Ruby decided to do? Girl, I'm getting off the highway. So I'm literally driving on the interstate at this point. Because I'm over here on, um, I don't even know the interstate name. I just know how to get here to my house. But so anyway, mind you, I'm about two exits away from my exit. So I'm flooring it, y'all. And I swear to y'all, now this hoe ain't getting up to 55. Oh, I was like, what is going on? Why am I hitting the... Why is my foot all the way down and we not going 100? We is going 55. So mind y'all, it's about 1.30 in the morning. I didn't got off work. I'm like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm about to have a heart attack. Because I'm by myself. I'm by myself. I'm listening to my money bag. And I don't have no money bag to break down. <sighs> so, uh, y'all. So, I'm still driving on the highway. We're doing that 55. People passing me. I'm like, Lord, just let me get onto this house. So, I get to my exit. That 55 turned into 45. So, I'm like, listen, Ruby. I'm driving her. I'm like, listen, Ruby. We got to get up this hill. We got to get off this highway. We got to get officially off this interstate. So, it's like, you know, buku or no cars, girl. It's no cars out there. So, I was like, good. Because I'm going to have to run this damn light. Because I cannot stop this car. She might not crank up. So, I'm riding, you know what I'm saying. We shoot up the doggone hill, y'all. Up the exit. I look. As soon as I got on the top of the hill, I look. I ain't see no lights. I had to keep it coasting. Yes, I did run that light. I had to keep it coasting. So, we coasting at this point. That 45 to drop down to 15. We cut and I'm full, I'm pumping it, pumping it, pumping it, flowing. My foot is all the way down on the gas. But we ain't going nowhere. It stopped right there. Right as soon as you as soon as you get off the exit and you make that right, boom, there go Ruby. See? So I'm like, uh-uh. Uh-uh. So I'm in the car like, bro. One or two, one or three things is gonna happen. Number one, I'm going to have to call a tow truck. Because we is 10 minutes from the house. Legit. 35 minute walk though. Because I, I ain't walking. Tuck. Oh no. Oh no. So that's when I got out. And I called the uh, Fayetteville police. And I was like, look bro, my car on the side of the damn road, G. I need some assistance. The lady was like, well, first of all, you're going to have to get out the car. Because if somebody get off the interstate and not paying attention, they're going to smack into the back of you. I said, I know it. I need to know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Who can help me? Because, you know, I'm like, yo, my car is in the middle of the road. I need to get this on the side. I need to get her out the middle of the road. It's so I'm standing there, cars going around, people pulling up. Hey, girl, you need a ride? Girl, you need some help? So this man pulled up. He was like, girl, you need a ride? I was like, girl, I don't need a ride. I need a job. <laughs> I need a real, real, real million dollar job. Because it's kind of cut off, honey. On the highway with me in it. So, he was like, do you need a ride? I was like, uh, uh, I don't know you, sir. It's, uh, 1.30 in the night. Uh, no. I don't need no damn ride. I'm going to just take you right there to the Circle K. So y'all know me. Uh, 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 y'all know I'm a little heavy. So I'm like, all right. You know, he ain't going to be able to do too much. To, I mean, come on. Let's be real. He not going to do too much. And if he try to do too much, I'm going to have to know what I'm about. 
okay? <laughs> we in the car now. I'm in the car with this tragedy, y'all. Shout out to him, yo. If you ever see my video, you know who I am. I don't know his name. We in this car, mind y'all. His car about two ticks from damn being on the side of the road like mine. But I was like, Lord, let us just get to the store. Let me get back to my car. Don't let his car cut off. So I go in the store, y'all. I'm like, all right, I think I know what's wrong with it. The girl is out of oil. Because I had this oil problem. So I'm like, all right. Um, and they had told me it was leaking at one point. So I'm thinking it had like leaked out, you know, over the course of me driving an hour plus, you know, two work hour plus home. So I'm thinking, you know what I'm saying, it's been draining the oil out of the car at this point. So I was like, alright, I'm going to just buy this high-ass oil. Because y'all know when y'all go to the convenience store, the oil always be mad high. So girl, I went in there and bought that oil. Came back out. Jumped in the car with crazy. His car cutting off. He got to crank it back up. It's shaking and everything. But we get back to my car. And my, you need help with your car, you know what I'm saying? You need me to pour it in there for you, da 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 I'm like, man, I don't need help with nothing else. Thank you for the ride. Thank you for, you know what I'm saying? He was telling me about how he, you know, wanted good karma. And he wanted the Lord to bless him and all that good stuff. So I'll be there. I want to be there for you. And this, doing this good deed for me is going to bless you. By all means, take me to that store, homeboy. <laughs> Pour this oil in my car, homeboy. <laughs> all day. So, so do pour the oil in there. All right, shorty, get in that crank the car up. So I get in the car, crank the car. I I'm gonna put a video. I'm gonna drop a video for y'all. I'm gonna Mind you guys, I had Ruby for it would have been three years as of 2018 November. So mind you, this happened in July. So I'm like, man, this is some bull. So he like, you got AAA, you got some money to call? I was like, yeah, I got some money to call, but I just ain't trying to pay for it, man. I was like, alright, bet. Oh, mind you, let me back up some. My um called the police, you know, they had to come out because the car is in the middle of the road. Officer gets there and oh the man stayed with me um until the police came because he was like, you know, people crazy girl, you know, I don't want, you know, you look like a nice girl. I don't want nobody to do anything to you. I'm like, dude, did you, are you crazy? I'm gonna fight like you all trying to kill me. Believe it. <laughs> So he was kind enough to stay with me until um, the police came. So when the police came, mind y'all, I told them we're going to have to push the car because it's not cranking. It's one officer. <laughs> I can't push a damn thing. Not if I wanted to. I can't push it. I can't. She will stay here in the middle of the road if it's up to me to push it. <laughs> Fuck it. I got it short. Fuck it. So, I'm like, alright. You know what I'm saying? So, I get in the car. I'm staring, y'all. Mind y'all, the car is dead. Like, the girl ain't got no lights. She ain't got nothing but a locked up. The steering wheel is so tight, y'all. I'm literally like, whoo, whoo, whoo. Like, trying to turn it into the little side street that was right there. I didn't even make it to the side street. So, it took the officer, the man that took me to the store, and another bystander that had stopped in the middle of the road because he seen the two dudes struggling to push my car and me. So, so it was about three, four people out there um, pushing the car and, you know, yelling, steer, steer, steer. So, finally, they um, were able to get me close enough to the uh, side street I was near. And once my wheel started, once I was able to turn, they just gave me one big old push and I coasted down. And then they uh, came and picked up my car. The um, roadside people came and picked it up. Long story short, when we finally got it taken to the shop and all that good stuff, because my dad had to come and tow it from up here. And come to find out, y'all, I need a new engine. And um, I'm not putting no engine in our car. Especially if the engine is half the value of the car. And I'm still making payments. Yeah, y'all crazy. Um, so yeah, I love my girl. Like me and me and Ruby, that we was in a relationship, you know, and when she got sick and um, you know, eventually when she eventually got sent to the um uh, intensive care unit, you know, I um I had to cut all ties because I can't I can't afford for you to get a new heart, honey. I can't. Uh, I can't afford it. So I'm going to have to just let her go. So 2019, we're coming with a new car.
new car so yeah yeah that's definitely my goal is definitely to uh find me a car of some sort me car ty's car once i get that under control i'll be i'll be in a much better space you know what i'm saying i got me an apartment right now even though my lease finna be up so gotta find me somewhere else to go so y'all y'all got a lot of content coming y'all about to be on on y'all about to be on go Y'all going with me to go look at these cars. Y'all going with me to do a lot of things. So just stay tuned. Side note, I feel like if people like Blueface, okay, <laughs> can get out here and make hits, got that bag, I can be red face, get out here <laughs> with my non singing ass and make these hits. You know, this is the type of time I wanted to bring to my channel. Because I, I just been, you know, a little quiet and a little in my little shell. But I'm about to give y'all the tea. I'm about to just straight up tell you what it is and what it ain't going to be. You know? Oh, this is a small note. Anybody who's looking to uh get into doing YouTube or anything like that, I'm going to tell you right now. If you cannot get up to the number amount of subscribers that they require you to get in order to officially start making money by doing this, the best way is to get your watch time up. Even though it is like, I think it's like 4,000 or whatever. I ain't going to tell y'all where I'm at. But just know we up there, baby. Because y'all be looking at me. We ain't at 1,000 yet, but we up there. I just know it. <laughs> anyway, man. I would recommend doing a watch time. Because you can just be consistent with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say post every day. But you can post at your own leisure. And that's what I like. But if you want your... Stuff to get monetized quicker. Make sure you're doing the watch time. Make sure you're dropping them videos. Make sure you all keeping people engaged. And that's, you know, what I had to know. I had to just, I had to just stop being scared. And stop being, you know what I'm saying, reserved and holding back. I just had to bring out the real me. I had to just drop it on you just like, boop, what's up? Hey, girl. But anyways, guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure that notification bell is on. But uh, like I said, y'all, more videos is on the way. More content always on the way. I would say new videos every day. But like I always say, every day ain't promise.